Hey, collectives. Um, I wanted to share this bit. You know, um, just reflecting. And, um, so, so I set up my station. I'm going to go live, um, in regards to some documents I wanted to share. But anyways, um, the person who came into my apartment, who took my debit cards and reported to housing, possibly the management, it's probably, it was them anyway, and uh, the welfare department, or HHS, whatever it's called, DFS. And um, so now the call center, the intake person, they're acting like an investigator. I said, well, typically, if you feel there's fraud going on, they're supposed to contact the fraud department and investigate, not me submitting information to uh, to uh, the agency, to an intake worker, you know what I mean? To a call center worker. So they're asking me now, since I said, you know, why is this information coming up and the bank's been closed for a number of years? Does it even exist anymore? So they would make sign an affidavit. I mean, there's no problem with that, but the problem is I never put it on an application. Why would I put something on an application that doesn't exist? You know what I'm saying? It's closed since 2021, if not 2022, if not. And then the other account, the other big account, is uh, because they're searching for money. When I went to the hospital, they were going through my purse and talking about I'm hiding money. Like, like they were like mafia. I was like, what the fuck is this? I'm going to write a complaint, too, regards to the hospital. They're going to my purse, going to my wallet. I said, that's my bill money. Like, what the fuck? You know? So, I don't know what their problem is. Because it was like as if, like I said before, my one of my other videos, I was in PACU, which is a uh, post-operative uh, anesthesia unit. And I'll remind you, I didn't have no anesthesia. I was the only one in the room. Only one on that floor, it seems like. It seems to be. And it was two women, two young nurses. And I felt some type of way. Talk about, we gotta keep people safe here. You and I, blah, blah, blah. And see, now when I went to the county the other day, was it, uh, was it not Friday or not? I got to look at my calendar. And one of the, the clerks who does the machine, but she was also the caseworker for that day, she was like, she told the sheriff to, to watch me. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So that lets me know the county was behind all my mom's stuff, my, the system, possibly my mom's death, the harassment, the stalking. I don't know. I already recognize a few people anyway. And the the, uh, the sheriff was a fat fat slob, a desk person. You know, he had his hand on his on his gun. I'm like, okay, we can do that too. You know, I'm gonna write a complaint against him. Because my thing is, you watching me, you talking about watching me for what? If I was approved for certain things from the state of California, obviously their lies doesn't work. And they could be held accountable for it too. And so basically, you know, what are we having the scenes? Um, I already made a complaint already. And I'm going to contact the, the director. Whether, she, uh, whether he or she responds or not, it's a matter of doing the paper trail. You know, I mean, I don't do things to expect any results. 